For the past couple of days, me and a couple of friends have both been doing solos and group runs on the Tombs of a Mascot on 150 to around 200 invocation. I just have to say I absolutely love this piece of content. If you haven't tried it yet, I would 110% recommend you to try it out. For the majority of these runs, the order we did the bosses in was first the Baba boss, the monkey boss. After that, we did Seaback, the crocodile. After that, for the third one, we did the human Akka. And for last, we did Scarab Kefri. And of course, after that, you fight the final boss, and we actually put most of our invocations on the final boss, with the only exception of Walk the Path, which is actually something that makes the other paths, the other mini bosses, harder and harder over time. So the first one that you kill is going to be the easiest one, and then they get progressively harder. That's why we ended up killing the Scarab boss when it would be the hardest possible one, and it is a very easy boss in general, at least in our opinion. But let's get into the video, let's see what loot we managed to get, and right off the bat, I did manage to get something. Oh my god, I got the gem, the Eye of the Corruptor, what is that? I know that is a Curry's Partisan attachment, but I'm not sure actually which one it is, so I'm going to look this up. Alright, let's inspect it. A jewel which can be attached to the carrier's partisan, granting it a special attack, which when used increases damage taken by creatures within the tombs of a mascot. That is really interesting. So from the looks of it, this is the carrier's partisan that you want to use with a massive team. It's not very good solo it seems, and it says performs an attack with 100% increased accuracy and 25% increased damage but with half attack speed. If hit, the opponent will take 25% increased damage for the next 6 seconds, and this obviously applies to your whole team. This special attack can only be used within the terms of a mascot, so basically it takes 75% of your spec, which is a lot. You can actually make that down to 25 if you have the liquid adrenaline inside of the raid, the potion that you can get from the helpful spirit, but basically what you want to do in my opinion, is use this in a bigger team on something where you need to burst it down very quickly and then have your entire team just dump all their D-class specs, DDSs or whatever they have and get 25% increased damage on that. First trio of the grind as well, Krebus RS is with us and hopefully you can get a purple on the first trio. Never lucky. At a 20 invocation this time, 170 now, ended up being a one hour raid with six deaths, so not expecting anything here. Yeah, white chest, kind of expected that. Definitely an improvement, only died one time this time, and we did it in 8 minutes less, I think. So let's see, white chest again. The absolute best way, in my opinion, to do the uh, Tombs of Amascus progression is just to put an invocation where you actually get challenged, but you don't die all the time. So we have 170 now, and we did not die a single time this time, and we did it 4 minutes faster than the last one. Decent chance of purple, maybe? Nope, not this time, but we're only 9 KC, so I, I don't expect too much yet. At this point, we started to feel really confident about the raid, and we actually wanted to try to go to 180, and what we decided to put on for invocations to get there was the 40 minute timer on the raid, so let's see how that went. We're gonna have 350, is it gonna- Oh, th 3954! Oh my fucking 55. god, that saved my Dude. life, man. So Come on! No, one second, two. What? Why is it not end faster? Are you kidding me? Uh, I was a sub for it. Actually scammed. That was actually scammed. So we got worse loot then, or what? No, I, th I don't think so. I, I but that 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 I don't know how that I works. I genuinely don't know yet. It does say your party failed to beat over the target time though. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like they have to explain that one better. Yeah. yeah. Four seconds too slow. I got 700k but, but loot. we got it. We, we actually got it under 40, but the animation is like 10 seconds long. <laughs> yeah. So I just woke up and I did a 150 solo. I think before my team comes back, I am just going to keep doing some solos on 150. I did bring some more switches now and I did try the Bo Feradinen and it worked pretty good. I think it was better than the Blowpipe, but I'm not 100% sure. And I was using Amethyst Dart. So let's see what we can get in this chest. It is a white chest, unfortunately. And we get some Torstal Seeds and Snapdragon Seeds. Quite a lot of value, though. Solo number two, and this one was actually below 40 minutes, which is very nice because that means I might be able to add another one of the invocations. That is a 40-minute time limit on the raid. 
to get some more chances of rewards. But let's see what we get for number 12. We get a white light again. And the loot is 109k. That is so bad. Would love to get one of the threads so I can actually uh, put the soul runes into my pouch. Because uh, that is one more inventory space for Bruce. Not that it seems like I need it, but for higher difficulties it would be very nice. Pretty unfortunate raid. I actually died one time and I put the 40 minute timer on the raid and I missed it by a minute. If I did not die, I would not have failed it. You can see in the chat, the party has failed to beat the overall challenge. Now I'm pretty curious because when you do fail this, you actually lose points and it is 160 now. But if I go here in here, I think it's going to be 140 and that is below normal. So let's see what actually happens with my loot potential. It is now a normal raid or below a normal raid. You see that? So if you actually set the point to be able to go below normal, you can actually lose the chance of getting the highest one. So that is kind of unfortunate. Finally, Max Nick logged in and we could do some duos. So definitely more fun, in my opinion, to do this as a team than solo. But can we get something nice? 14 KC and it's a white chest again. Man... 16 raids and still only white. It's actually rigged. Can I get the thread at least? Oh, I got the thread! Nice. Okay, Very nice. that is... Uh, now I don't have to keep the soul runes in my inventory. That's actually huge. And that is the pouch made. It looks very nice. And then we add the soul runes. Another space for the bag. Now at this point I was about 17 raids dry of anything and of course we do not know the drop rates yet but we saw a lot of people get drops on like 10, 12 KC, even earlier than that like 4 KC. So we felt like we were kind of unlucky here, maybe that is not the case at all but at this point we were starting to really want to see that purple. White light oh again. Oh my god, I actually scam man. Can we at least give one of us one the purple. At least dude. give us one of us the blue gem. Look. Nope. Cash runes. Nope. Nope. 233k for that. 600k. Raid 19. We have to get something on 20, I feel like. We can't go 20 dry, Nick. No, oh, never lucky. 20 raids and no purple. 20 normal raids. Ah, 21. Wait, wait, we... Last raid of the like day. Classic death purple. Please, yeah, please. like please. what, 14, 15 hours of raiding today, no purple. And the last scuffed raid for deaths is also a white. A. E. <sighs> four. Nothing. I got four magic seeds though. So currently it is 2 o'clock at night, my team had to go, and I decided to do one last solo. 35 minute run on 150, just want to do a chill run. Let's see, can we get lucky and get absolutely spooned? 23 runs overall, no purple yet, and uh, that still stands. So no purple in 23 runs, I would say half of them if not even more in teams, and probably like 6-7 solo. It's another day, 36 minute run on 150 invocation, not too great, but uh, I just want to do uh, chill solos now in the beginning of the day, and I'm just waiting for the team to log on, so let's see, can we get lucky on 150? Nope, white light again. Yo, there's like a whole kit for dig side amulets, look at that, that would be nice if I was an Iron Man. I guess slightly slower run, but still made the 40 minute timer, and we did actually amp it up to 170 for another white light. One second short of 37 minute run, but I think that's fine. I can go even higher, I think. 260k loot. So we really don't know the drop rates of anything yet. We don't know if it's better to do solo, group or anything. But uh, if it is the same drop rate on group and solo, I would love to get the drop in solo just for how much they're actually worth. But another white light this time. And I'm going to maybe do more solos, maybe group. I'm not really sure yet. It really depends on when the people are online, I guess. 190 this run in 37 and a half minutes. I think it's a combination of me getting better at the raid. And also, I don't think it's that much of a difference in like 170 to 190. But what can we get for this run? Wait, another Threads of Eliteness? 
Uh, I didn't even know you could get duplicates of that. What even is the point? Because you can't sell them. So I guess maybe if you lose your room pouch or something, you can get another one. My Discord mod chapter wanted to do a duo. So can we get something lucky for this? Usually he is very lucky. So maybe it's the lucky charm. But not this time. 117, 36 minute duo. And we're coming up to 30k soon, soon on the next one. And the loot is 171k. 34 minutes. Minus. That is my personal best. Oh, we got a purple! Oh! We got one! Oh, Yo! Oh, we got a purple! Wait, wait, who, oh whose is it? Whose is it? I what? hope it's mine because I need it for the bingo. Do man. you have the. Wait, do you have the key? Who has the key over it? Oh, it's mine! It's oh, mine! Oh my go. god, oh my god. Okay, it's mine! I got a purple! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Hey, guess right. what you guys think it's gonna be? Uh, it's, it's gonna, gonna be a staff. I think, a staff. I think, I think I'm gonna sure? be, I'm gonna be a doomer. I'm gonna say the ring. Oh, <laughs> okay, don't say that. Okay, <laughs> three, two, oh, one, let's go. Oh, oh. Are we all get to see at the same time? Please oh my god! Oh. What is it? Oh. What is that? Oh. What is it? Yo! Oh, I thought it was the sword. Fuck. Hey, <laughs> no, but the ward's worth more than the sword. Ward, ward is worth oh, more than the sword. No, I think that I think no, no, no. Ward is like a hundred mil. Really? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, here is the split as well. It is going to be quite a decent amount of money. Nothing too crazy, but twenty-one point five million. It's always nice to get that green cash tag as a split. Now, after talking to my teammates for quite a while, looking at a bunch of streamers that are doing solo, two-man, three-man, all the way up to eight-man, we have realized, and it's kind of clear to us, that doing solos is probably way more rare to see purples. The way they've done it, in our opinion, from our speculations, is that the more people you are, the more common the purples are. Just like in Chambers of Zarek, and it's not the case in Theater of Blood, but we do think it is the case here. We have done a bunch of solos, probably like 70 solos across the entire team, and we have not seen a single purple. As soon as we did a four-man, we did manage to get a purple. Of course, we might have been really lucky, but comparing to other streamers as well, we have seen basically every single purple in a team. Very rare to see a solo. But at the end of the day, we did get the purple. It was not the most expensive one, but it's always super hype to see it. And I'm going to get back to my own drop rate series now. I'm going to be taking a break from this raid. I'm probably going to be doing it now and then off video. But for now, this is it for Tombs of a Mascot content from me for a bit. I will be doing a non-drop rate video on this raid when we get more information about the exact drop rates. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.